We are now going to evaluate some things that have to the zero power in them. So when we follow our order of operations, we have to do the exponent first. If I do 3 fifths to the zero power, 3 fifths to the zero power is 1, right? So now I have 2 times 1, 2 times 1, it's just going to give me 2 then. And again, if you wanted to check that with your calculator, you would punch it in 2 parentheses, 3 fifths to the zero power. You get two, right? Why is that no? Because there's two because, different numbers there? Because this part of it that's two to the zero power is equal to one, and then you got to multiply it by the two that's in front. One times two is two. So, we're going to practice some. If you do negative two to the zero power, what's my answer going to be? One. One. Number five, if I do three times negative eight ninths to the zero power. Well, that's going to be three. It's going to be three, because that's one and three times one is three. How about minus a negative four to the zero power? Hmm. I don't know. Will it be negative one? It will be, because this part of it's equal to one, and then the minus is in front, so it's negative one. So number six. Minus 3 to the 0 power. One. Negative 1. Negative 1, because the negative is on the outside of the parentheses. So if it's on the inside, it stays positive, but if it's on the outside, it's going to be negative. And on the bottom one? Negative 3 times 1, negative 3. It's negative 3, exactly.